Hey everybody, Diecast and Lego here. Time now again to look at another real working rigs. This is the MBX Excavator. On the back, it says, uh, let's see if I can get it in camera. It says working treads. The body rotates. Let's see if I can, am I gonna get in focus? Arm moves and shovel scoops. Duh, it's an excavator. Also available, we have the M1 Abrams tank. And I believe that's a case. Uh, combine harvester. Now, this is copyright 2012. And because there's no licensing or trademarking, I believe this is a matchbox creation. So, let's go ahead and crack it open. This is, I, I like this model. It's really heavy because most of this cab is all, um, this is all die cast metal. And uh, that's, I really like that. So this is all die cast metal. This is one of the first releases with the ink construction. You can tell it's the first release because that's what they show on the box here. Now this is a different release of the M1 Abrams. I believe they have like a lime green version. They have a ton of versions on this, but this is uh, this lime green, uh, not the lime green, I believe this is a NATO model. So let's take a look at the deco on here. It says ink construction, has some warning lights around here. That's pretty nice. Here it says uh, 7400E excavator, 7400E, and then right here, see if I can get it to focus, it says warning stand clear 30 feet, 30 feet, yeah that seems like it would work for the arm on this thing, uh, but one, speaking of the arm, Take a look at this. This is all plastic and already, oh, it's already snapping out of place. I've had problems uh, with pieces snapping out of place on my, uh, my Freightliner business class. If you saw the review, I actually popped that off and now it's slightly damaged. But also another cool thing I figured out about the Freightliner, you can pop the snorkel off to have a tanker truck. If you're into fire apparatus, you could use that. Maybe try to find another color release of it. But we're talking about an excavator. So it has an arm plastic. Uh, it's true, the cab does rotate. It does a full 360. Let's see what else it said. Uh, working treads. They work. Now, is it going to work on sand or dirt for those that play in a sandbox or a dirt pile? Probably not because this is hard plastic and I am having to push hard. I mean, if I just like push it forward without, I have to push it down. If I just push it, it just slides around. That's not cool. So, the body rotates. Yep, 360. Arm moves, they have an arrow here. Yep, that works. This arm moves, and the shovel scoops it. Oh, that is, I love this function when they put it on Matchbox vehicles. It snaps into place. So it's not just hanging around like these are. This can snap into place. So, also notice this looks more like a construction excavator here. But if you can see where they place the pin, if you turn it this way, it looks more like a demolition excavator, something that would have like a big claw on the front. Maybe because I just bought uh, a couple Dremel drills, I could create a bucket for that. You know, it would be really cool if, because they do make Matchbox for the real working rigs, they have uh, variations, color variations. It would be cool if they had model variations. How's that for food for thought? So you could have a demo excavator, other stuff like that. Um, that's just something to think about also with the 
the the Oshkosh Hemet A4. That would be cool if they had a variation on that. I mean, there's tons of versions of Hemets. Some have cranes on it. That one has a rollback. I haven't picked that one up yet. I want to. But, yeah, that'd be kind of cool to pick up if it had a variation on it. Maybe I'll pick it up in the... Uh, are they in Mission Force? No, it's just the Abrams that are in there. But uh, keep looking for more reviews. I still have some more left over from Christmas. So, that is the MBX Excavator. That's a Matchbox creation. Bye-bye. Uh,